Hey guys, Adrian here for the Digital Dojos, and with the request of some viewers, some people wanted me to go to do more Mac tutorials, and I wanted to go back to the roots and uh, kind of do some more basic stuff, start off with the basic stuff and move on, so I know a lot of you guys may find these some of these uh, videos that I have coming up a little bit more basic in terms of some tips, so I'm going to try and throw in some stuff that you may have not known, but anyways, uh, today I want to talk about expose and spaces within Mac OS X, I'm going to try and go over some core stuff within Mac OS X for new users, especially who are stumbling upon these videos, and along with that, um, you know, yeah, just like videos from for some people to reference to if they switch to the Mac or anything of that matter. And I have just because I haven't done any Mac tutorials, I'm gonna try and also get some daily Mac app reviews or maybe every week. Can't try and get a Mac app up for you guys to kind of balance it out with the Windows tutorials. Anyways, expose and space is what I want to talk about today, and you can access this by going into your system preferences, which should be in your dock. If not, you can always access that in Spotlight. Um, and this is on Snow Leopard. If you go to Expose and Spaces, I believe this is also in Leopard um, and some prior versions. But anyways, um, Expose and uh, Spaces are features that allow you to add it's a productivity tool in a way. It's built into the uh, operating system, and Expose is one that allows you to view all your current windows open. So if you have a lot of clutter, um, you have you know tons of windows open, tons of browser windows open, tons of applications. Really quick way to sort out. A mess um, in terms of if you want to find an application you want to switch to. Now, alternatively, you can use the Command Tab feature on your keyboard to switch between apps, and it shows you again a list of the apps you have open. So, in this case, I can switch to Finder just by Command Tabbing over there, and I can Command Tag back to System Preferences to access that. Now, you can add a hot corner for this. So, if I want to put spaces or any uh, you can add a hotkey and hot corner for certain things like spaces I have in my top right and uh, for expose I use F5 on my keyboard so once I hit F5 you'll see here that I get a list of all the applications I have open on this uh, space now for example if I was to open up more files here so for example Red Snow which is a jailbreaking app and if I opened up my project for school here is something I had I hit F3 you can see I get a whole bunch uh, or nice neat layout of everything that I had open on my current desktop or space. Now if you don't have spaces enabled you'll get all your windows but since I have spaces enabled it's only showing me the windows I have on my current virtual desktop. Now along with Expose you can hit F5 which shows all my windows you can see here or you can have application windows so if I hit F6 it'll only show me my current application windows and F11 would go back to the desktop. Now alternatively once you have if you hit F5 and show all your windows uh, a thing you can use besides clicking on the window you want to open you can actually command tab within here or sorry, I should say, hang on. Alt, is it Alt? Yeah, Alt tab. You can Alt tab between here to go between your various applications that you currently have open. This will go through your whole dock. As you can see here at the bottom, it's highlighting everything as you go over it. So you, you know, for sure know what application you're opening. Very nice way to switch between apps quickly using your keyboard. Now, going to Spaces. Spaces is your virtual desktop. So you can set from anywhere from default, which is 1 to 4. You can actually go to 2. You can actually add up to uh, 8, or sorry, 16, I should say, is your, if you really want to, you know, go really productive. You can add 16, uh, what do you call that, a virtual desktop. It's up to you. I like to keep it at 4 just for, you know, uh, the sake of keeping it simple. But, you know, if you want to run a whole bunch of different virtual desktops and you have the, you know, Hardware and the specs to handle that. Go ahead and do that. Um, now you can have show, you can have spaces show up here in your menu bar, so you know which space you're on if you'd like that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and disable that because I like just having the hotkeys. Now you can have certain application assignments here. If I was to add one, I can add Finder to a certain space anytime it's opened. It would go to that specific space. Um, this is a way to really organize your app. So if you're doing like video editing, you can have your video editor open in you know space one. Space two can be like a web browser. Maybe if you need stuff for reference, space three could be anything like a if you use something like. Uh, you know, s different uh, like a preview window or something like that. You can separate all these in different spaces. All right. So to activate spaces again, you can set your own custom hotkeys for whatever you want. I just have mine set to F8. So if I hit F8, actually it's going to open up Safari. I should <laughs> I want to I should use my hot corner. So if I go into my hot corner, which is my top right. Oh, sorry, I moved out of the way there. Uh, you should be able to access your spaces, and this is, will show you. And, sorry, this will show you all the current spaces you have open. So the left one being your main space, and then your right one would be. And since I have dual monitors enabled, that's just showing there. Alternatively, if you have four spaces, it'll just show four squares. Now you can actually use expose within spaces. So if I was to hit my expose key, which is F5, 
you'll see here that it gives me a label of all the apps I currently have open except for that Mac App Store one. Um, but this shows me everything I have open and a little label so I can kind of sort through when I want to go through and I can go to that space and you know open up that red snow folder really great way to sift through a lot of windows and have a lot of different virtual desktops these virtual desktop guys can come in real handy i don't know um uh, again you know depending on your usage of it what you do i know a lot of people who use it for video editing a lot of people use it just to keep clutter away and you know keep uh their focus is uh, switched on different things you know instead of having multiple monitors you can virtually have multiple desktops um, now there's some alternatives on Windows, so I'm going to try and leave some links in the uh, video description if you guys are interested. Anyways guys, do check these two features out if you haven't really used them, because I myself have, have the MacBook for you know months now, and I still haven't really utilized these features. Take advantage of them, set your keyboard shortcuts, remember them. Really, really great ways to uh, sort through your Windows and be productive on your Mac, and really get things done in terms of you know sorting things out and keeping organized, as I need to do here on my desktop. As you can see, it's kind of messy. Anyways, guys, stay tuned for another Mac tutorial, Mac tips coming up. Uh, more videos coming soon. Anyways, guys, don't forget to check out our website at digitaldojos.com. Thanks a lot, guys, for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.